is Katherine Yost, and I have been teaching at COD for over 10 years, drawing, painting, and intro to visual art. I did my BFA at the Museum School in affiliation with Tufts University in 2001, and I finished my master's uh, in painting and drawing at SAIC, the School of the Art Institute of Chicago, in 2006. And I have maintained a pretty healthy practice and been teaching ever since. So uh, first I wanted to uh, welcome you to my basement. Uh, this is where my studio is currently located. And um, I'm gonna talk a little bit about my most recent body of work, uh, which reflects about a five month period that I spent really off the grid in rural Wisconsin this past spring. And that experience uh, really led me to consider how the practice uh, of art as a whole, of art making as a whole, uh, I began to sort of investigate the practice itself, not um, and, and become less focused on the product, if that makes any sense. So one key to this body of work is thinking about location. And I think that location is a particularly fitting thing to be thinking about amidst the pandemic um, as all of us are probably in some way have reevaluated our relationship to space. Uh, and then of course the relationship between space and time. I think everybody has, you know, in some way experienced a shift to a shift in how time, uh, the feeling of the passage of time has maybe changed depending on other alterations in one's life. And when I moved to this new rural natural location, one of the things that um, it was involved in every day were long walks that I would take through the woods and particularly along this incredibly beautiful dry wash. In this particular farm, the area where I was staying, there was a dry wash, which is basically a riverbed that dries out, that water runs through and then it dries out. So you can, first you can kind of, you can think about the metaphor between paint um, and kind of wetness, dryness, but then of course movement, which is a really common sort of painting metaphor that we see a lot, this idea of using paint and the, the sort of the drying and wetness factors to sort of mimic the idea of movement um, or the passage of time. And one thing that became very clear to me when I first uh, started making this work and experiencing nature in a, in a more profound way that I think maybe I ever have um, had to do with change and you know watching the season change. So particularly from winter to spring. Um, on a larger scale, in terms of like the landscape as a whole, but then also in a micro scale, um, paying attention to the spring peepers, the new flowers that emerged during the spring, fungus, you know, um, finding frog eggs in the pond on top of the bluff, this sort of thing, uh, finding different sounds, um, different birds emerging, um, different insects, smells, etc., etc. And of course, what I'm beginning to talk about is sort of a fen is is a phenomenon, not a picture of a landscape. And that's what I I think this body of work is really focused on is showing that idea of a wholeness of a, a synthesis of an experience. Um, rather than just its sort of individual parts that make it up. And I realized that the walks themselves had become a part of the work, that they were interchangeable. So, you know, we're in my studio here and you can see you know, that work is being made, um, but I don't consider the entire process as something that takes place in the studio. It's the whole process of thinking, of gathering, of experiencing um, that all sort of play into my experience as an artist. I think it's really important to never turn that off, to always be conscious of your surroundings. Um, at least it is for me. One thing I want to close with 
is that I, you know, I wanted to kind of just point out that in my work, there needs to be some sort of element of mystery in the process. I don't plan and then execute. This is a really important that the process itself uh, reveals my concepts, um, that it remains some sort of investigation. Um, and that's really the key that kind of keeps me interested and keeps me curious. And um, I will leave you with that. Thanks.